A new group of inmates were delivered today. Theta group. My guards gave them the usual welcome that all our guests have to go through. Afterwards they were assigned their designated numbers. Nobody gets to use their name here, myself included. Even these voice logs are automatically processed to remove all identifying markers. It makes our job much easier. Knowing there were never any real people at Serene Harbor. Everyone in Theta Group is a confirmed member of the NMLA. We've had Marlinists here before. But they didn't last long before telling us what we wanted to know. The I, IISS were grateful for the information, and their raids on terrorist cells were very successful. As always, we're happy to let them take the credit. As long as it keeps the spotlight away from Imperial Intelligence. What's slightly unusual about these Marlinists is where they were captured. Prisoner files say they had an advanced workshop hidden in LTT-1935, a federal system. It's thought that these were the people who built the enzyme bombs that were used in the starport attacks last year. So we have some real celebrities in our cells. It's a mystery to me why everyone is so scared of the NMLA. I've handled radicals like them before. Emperor's Dawn, Silver Oracle, League of Reparation. They all broke eventually. These will break too. Theta Group are proving to be harder to crack than I expected. Most of them haven't said a word so far. Screams don't count as words, obviously. The man we think is their leader, Theta 7, is supposedly something of an engineering genius, despite being covered in corrosive scars. During questioning, he just closes his eyes and lets it happen. Something tells me he might have gone through this before. A few of the others are more vocal, but not with anything useful. Theta 12 just spits abuse. Whereas Theta 2 is always shouting some nonsense about remembering the Nine Martyrs. She's using a technique I've seen from other extremists, where they self-reinforce by reminding themselves of their cause, but they don't usually hold out for this long. We've been told that these terrorists need to look healthy and intact for a public execution, which limits our usual methods. Therefore, I'm taking an alternative approach. I've requested a neurosensory amplifier to be loaded onto the next supply shuttle. It's a delicate piece of medical equipment, so I told them to mark it as fragile. Most of our guests tend to be fragile too. Some fall apart when you so much as look at them. So it's refreshing to have a challenge for once. I'm looking forward to providing the IISS with another success story. Situation Report we have a major incident. A large-scale security breach is in progress. I cannot explain how this has happened, but... The prisoners are no longer in captivity. They got free. All of them. Just as the supply ship was coming in to land, most of our automated systems shut down simultaneously. Cell doors unlocked. Electric barriers were disabled. Even the sentry skimmers outside just dropped to the ground and the inmates came surging out, too many to stop. I managed to reach my office. But I'm watching what's going on via the monitors. It's brutal. Several of my men have been killed already. There are prisoners running riot everywhere, smashing whatever they can find, although... Theta 7 hasn't joined them. He's still sitting in his cell. Even though the door's open. It looks like he's waiting. Could he have done this? Top rank Imperial Intelligence officers have override codes giving them remote control of assets. Which would explain this security shutdown. But Theta 7 can't know those codes. Unless he's stolen them somehow. All of Theta group look calm. Like they knew this was going to happen. Maybe that's how they resisted our questioning for so long. They had hope. They probably timed this so they could hijack the supply ship and escape. But it's not going to work. I've ordered my remaining guards to retreat to the control room and await reinforcements. We anticipated breakout attempts like this. 
which is why all our shuttles carry a full squad of combat troops. I can see them on the external cameras now, leaving the ship and heading inside. They look heavily armed. Good. I think we'll have everything locked down again soon. This is an emergency broadcast on all frequencies from Serene Harbor. We are an Imperial Intelligence Detention Facility, and I'm the COM. My name is Commandant Gabriel DeLuca, ID code, XTU67065. I might, might be the only survivor. There's been a breakout, a massacre. The soldiers from the ship killed them all. They just stormed in and started shooting, gunning down prisoners and guards alike. I watched it happen, all the corridors filled with laser fire, the bodies piling up. My men didn't stand the chance. They wiped out every single person. Except Theta Group. The troops let them live. More than that, they escorted them back to the ship like they were senators. Why are our own soldiers doing this? Are they? Has the NMLA infiltrated Imperial Intelligence? Used our override codes against us? It sounds impossible. It must be impossible. I'm not sure if this transmission is getting through. They might be jamming our comms. I'll try again once the ship's taken off. I don't know why it's still sitting there, or what the hell is happening. Wait, I can see on the monitors, two people have come back in through the airlock. They're still suited, I can barely see their faces through the helmets, but one looks badly scarred. Theta 7. It's got to be. Why has he come back? They're heading inwards, past all the corpses. I think they're... I think they're heading for my office. And they're carrying something between them. A large steel box with writing stamped on it. That says... It says... Fragile. 